Hi, today I'd like to start with a very cool angle grinder stand. It's not just a regular stand, in fact it has an extender. With this mechanism you can regulate the cutting length. Now, the clamping mechanism has a rotation angle. There are two levers. You simply use one to move it across and another one to press it. I also check this out. By using this extension here, you can really simplify the whole process. And here are pretty awesome vice that work on the same principle as a hydraulic jack. It's the first time I see such a thing. I suspect it gives a much better grip and perhaps you can even use this thing as a sort of a mini press. When polishing, to avoid situations like this, and to completely avoid the dust, hook your angle grinder or polisher to a vacuum cleaner. This is a great example of the sort of stuff you should have in mind when making one of those. You can see it's all metal in the middle and has a rubber stripe around it. It allows for a snug fit and doesn't let the dust through. It's connected to a vacuum cleaner through a rubber tube, and as you can see it works perfectly well and doesn't let the dust through. And here's another interesting type of dust collector. This one goes well with a puncher. For this you'll need a 110mm plastic sleeve, a piece of 50mm pipe, a plug and a couple of cuffs. Now this next tool makes wood polishing a lot easier. Here's a DIY version of it. The drill here is the main element. You add the chip breaker through the branch pipe. The way the sandpaper is fixed and held is a little unusual, but it looks like the author of this invention is totally satisfied with its finish. The drum is made of five combined plywood circles. The sandpaper is cut into pieces and safely fixed. And here's the smallest lathe in the world, the pocket version, so to speak. The tool holder moves along the guide and you can adjust it almost the same way you do it uh, with a regular version. The motor moves the gear wheel, which in its turn drives the shaft. I think it really is a great idea. You know, you don't have to be hard on yourself. Just make yourself a buddy that will help you with those plasterboard pieces. You gotta give this guy some props. This one is easy to make and very easy to use. It isn't too firm, but when working with smaller pieces it should suffice. Alright, and so lastly I wanted to show you this very handy DIY toolbox. Looks very neat and keeps your tools in order, and as we all know, order is very important. So with this toolbox you're really ready to deal with all sorts of minor problems. It's very useful and compact indeed. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Remember to leave a comment and make sure you press the like button if you liked the video. You'll find all the links to full videos in the description. Thanks for watching, goodbye.